forward with new energy and new leadership in City Hall. At the helm, we are very fortunate to have a person of great character and great integrity, a business owner, a family man, and a true friend to our city, and Sonia's own, Mayor Dave Cassetti. And Mayor Cassetti, I want to welcome you to the podium at this time to deliver your inaugural address. they must have felt 
as they sailed across the Atlantic Ocean and into the unknown. I stand before you tonight because my grandparents conquered their fears and dared to reach out for a better life, for a fresh start. Indeed, that is the story of a great many of us assembled here tonight, living across Ansonia. We are the sons, daughters, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren of those who sacrificed so much for a brighter future and eventually found it in this amazing country. To those first-generation immigrants who are with us tonight, I need to extend a special thanks for leading the way. My friends, we are about to embark on our own quest for a fresh start here in Ansonia. We will board the ship together and set sail into uncharted territory. Before us are waves of change and uncertainty, a rolling sea that has forever submerged the ways of the past. Just consider some of the new realities we face. The days when our economy could depend on manufacturing giants and Sony copper and brass are long gone. The time when cities and towns could exist self-sufficiently as islands unto themselves is over. And no longer can government afford to ignore the technological innovations of the private sector without becoming obsolete. Compounding these challenges is, is a rising tax burden that has at times pitted us against each other, forcing a choice between even higher taxes or a lower level city of services. Though the hardships may be numerous, we should not fare the course ahead. It is simple, it is simply a matter of perspective. We must approach each obstacle as an opportunity to revitalize and re-energize our city. We must see it in our most heated debates, the potential to unite our community through open and honest dialogue. Above all, we need to recognize that even the most daunting trials are no match for our collective resolve. Forging a new beginning in Ansonia will not require the dramatic sacrifice made by my grandparents almost a century ago. It will, however, require that we will make the effort to see the best in each other and our common predicament. Working together, we can face adversity head on and emerge stronger than ever before. We can conquer our fears and change forever to secure the new beginning ourselves and for our families. It is therefore with the greatest confidence that I say to you, and Sonia's greatest moments are yet to come. I pray. I pray that God helps all of us here tonight to administer our office and to serve in the best interest of the people of Ansonia. I also now reflect on the words of President Ronald Reagan, who envisioned the United States of America as a shining city upon a hill. On the occasion of his farewell address to the nation, President Reagan remarked that America was still a beacon, still a magnet for all who must have freedom, for all the pilgrims from all the lost places who are hurtling through the darkness toward home. Many of us gathered here tonight recognize Ansonia as our beacon in the darkness. I, it certainly was for my family. As mayor, I promise to not only to keep the beacon lit, but also to burn its flame brighter than ever before, bright enough to guide Ansonia's next generation home. Thank you so very much. May God bless each of you. May God bless the city of Anselm. and every one of you.